Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Tarot Journey on this wonderful Monday night. It is Monday, April 16th, and um, we are gathered together like we do on the third Monday of every month. And um, I see Rob is in the house and others are, are coming in. So thank you for joining me this evening. Um, we're talking tonight about spring cleaning. Hi, Rob. Thanks for being in the house tonight. Spring cleaning on the tarot journey. What does that mean? Well, um, Spirit had put it on my heart um, a couple weeks ago to, to delve into this topic and specifically um, working with some internal spring cleaning. So that's what we're going to be doing this evening. I want to start off with some announcements as people mailing in. Um, welcoming all of you to the show this evening. Uh, Star Nations Magazine, Communications from Home, Star Nations Magazine, April edition, is now published. And um, the Tarot Journey to the Stars, that's the name of my column in Star Nations Magazine, Tarot Journey to the Stars, because I, I combine... The tarot also with astrology, because most of you know that I am an evolutionary astrologer as well as a tarot teacher. So I, I weave those together in my own brand of work um, in Star Nations magazine. And so our, our article this month um, is on embracing your sacred gifts. And um, good evening. Here's Shell Rose is here. Hello, hello. Mary Ellen is here. Oh, I love your profile picture there. Um, thank you all for, for being here. Hello, Neshi. Thank you for coming on in. Yes. Barbie is here. Yay. It's going to be a really good party tonight. Uh, for spring cleaning. So Star Nations Magazine, my article this month in um, the Tarot Journey to the Stars column is Embracing Your Sacred Gifts. And so it's about um, how the, the tarot helps you call in your gifts and how you can use the tarot to help caretake your gifts. So it's really exciting. And I'm going to alert you to a little special thing. There is a special giveaway offer in Star Nations magazine. So you have to read about it and um, learn what you need to do to um, get in on it. So it, I am doing a, a thank you giveaway to my readers. So please, please take a look at uh, the April edition of Star Nations Magazine. And yes, Neshi has it up there. Get your copy at starnations.org, Star Nations Magazine. Purchase Star Nations Magazine. You can get that digitally. You can get that PDF. You can get the actual copy that you can open and flip pages and you can smell them. <laughs> I love to smell those pages. So, um, yeah, get Star Nations Magazine. Um, good stuff. Good stuff. So our topic tonight is spring cleaning with the tarot. And um, the idea was to make room to bloom. Make room in your internal landscape. Make room in your mind. Make room in your heart. Make room in your energetic system to bloom in whatever way that you want that to be. So um, if it's health or finances or love relationships or friendships or career in whatever way you want to bloom, that's what we want to do. We want to spring clean to, to bloom. And I know some of you might be thinking along with me, spring, <laughs> what's that? Um, this weather is kind of wonky. So um 
maybe it'll maybe it'll work itself out out there, right? But if we are having spring in here, then you know, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. <laughs> I guess. Hi, Holly. Welcome everyone to the show. And if you would please, if you would like and share the show. There might be some people in your friends list or family um, kind of scrolling through your, your feed or in the groups you belong to who might hmm, want to be part of the spring cleaning. They might want to get in on the abundance. So if you would like and share the show, please. Those algorithms at, at Facebook um, need all of our help. So thank you for your outreach and for your support of the show. We are, we are having a chakra focus tonight. Um, chakra focused on internal system. And so, whoops, that's not what I wanted. Um, we're going to be focusing on our internal energetic system. And I'm going to show I wanted to copy and paste it, but I guess I'm going to have to um, type it here. So let me do that. Um, rjchakra.weebly.com. Um, RJ, R and J Chakra Jewelry is a joint endeavor uh, that I'm a part of with my business partner, Marilla Walther. We make um, genuine gemstone and crystal chakra jewelry and pendulums. And this website is chock full of chakra empowerment products and energy clearing techniques. And one that I really wanted to, um, to tell you about is this wonderful um, obsidian clearing meditation that um, was gifted to me by our own Tracy Civic. She is a contributing writer to Star Nations Magazine and was part of the um, From Star to Stone show and a crystal expert. And so she, um, she allowed me to post this meditation that she, um, that she had channeled and she had received from her guides. It is extremely potent and powerful. Let me... Um, Write that down. I'm sorry, I can't type for talk at the same time. Obsidian and clearing meditation. And it is on our website, rjchakra.weebly.com, um, underneath um, the chakra heading. And there's a scroll down to get to that. If, if there is something that you're really ready to let go, whoosh, um, like a, a real emotional or um, psychological impacting event or situation or circumstance or relationship in your life, that is the clearing meditation. And again, it was um, shared with me and gifted to me by Tracy Civic, and she has full credit and um, has granted me permission to use it on the website. It is awesomely powerful. Hi, Meg. Oh, I'm so glad you're tuning in. Akashic class. She is the Akashic expert. Meg is. So if you are um, needing to work in the Akashic records, that is your book of life, your soul's truth, through all of its um, woven lifetimes and threads. So get with Meg. Judy is saying beautiful chakra jewelry. Thank you. Yes. Um, Judy has um, shared some of our work. I appreciate it. So we are going to really dive in tonight. And I want to get started with, with the sacred space. As we are going to be doing some soul work, we're going to be doing some internal, internal clearing, internal work. And so I want us to set that space. Um, as I was starting my day um, at the office, I subscribe to um, I subscribe to 
daily uh, daily Dharma from Tricycle Magazines, the Buddhist magazine. I've been going back to um, taking meditation classes again. So I'm I'm trying to brush up on my uh, writings and, and understandings. And the the subject line of today's email just grabbed me, and I wanted to share it with you because spirit spirit talks to me in pictures and songs most often. Um, and so the heading was be a lamp unto yourself. And that got me thinking of the hermit card in the tarot, the major arcana. Um, that is, that is the, an older man carrying a lamp and he's kind of off by himself, but be a lamp unto yourself. And immediately, it came to my mind what spirit was telling me was giving the song and it's a song from a long time ago some of you might know it and um, it was impressed upon me today to think about the song thy word thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path and that is based on, I'm going to type it in here, Psalm 119, um, the biblical song written by King David. So, Psalms are songs, um, old Hebrew. And in, in that tradition, it was written as thy word meaning God or Yahweh, um, the creator. But we can think of that in terms of what is most comfortable for you. So if that is creator, if that is Allah, if that is Buddha, if that is Kuan Yin, if that's Mary, if that is Wakantanka, um, or just universal intelligence or source or the nameless one, thy word, Word, the, the vocalization, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And so that's immediately where my mind went when I read that subject line, be a lamp unto yourself. And also piecing together, my mind works so fast like that. And, and hearing that psalm, and the subsequent song that was um, written and performed by Amy Grant. Maybe some of you know that, Thy Word. And the, the four agreements, be impeccable with your word. So be a lamp unto yourself is to light your own path with your word, with your deeds, being integrous. And so I want to, yes, Amy Grant. Thanks, Rob. So I want to start with that. I want to start with getting, getting into word. And also what came to my mind is this, this word, word called word, which it has an, it's an Anglo-Saxon derivative meaning, I have it down here, meaning fate or personal destiny, what is coming to pass, what is becoming. And so as we, as we walk our word or walk with the word of, of divine source, whatever you resonate with, we unfold our path. That is the over lighting um, message or, or the creation of our path. We know that our words are very important. So I'm going to start with that tonight. It's a little bit different on the, the, the sacred space. Um, yes, Neshi is saying the word is sacred because our breath behind the word, breath given to us by creator. So if you would just kind of center in your heart and you can join in with me. If some of you know this, um, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. 
My word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And so we just ask to be surrounded in that light and asking your angels, your ancestors, your allies, the ones you work with in spirit to surround you as we prepare to do some very, very deep work this evening. This is, I'm calling this um, chakra sound reju rejuvenation. Um, Spirit told me I was doing this a couple weeks ago, and and so my ego mind over a, a little bit, and I I wanted to just get it so right. Um, but I'm wanting to open it up now and be a little more free. But it's going to be very deep, and we're going to la ask a lot of each other this evening. And we are supported by our team and we're supported by creator and we're supported by one another. And at the point that you are comfortable, we are going to um, release and then also sow some seeds of the things that you would like to see grow in your life. Make room to bloom prosperity and abundance and love and and uh, money and if you are planting your own garden health all of those things but I wanted to read read this it's it's very timely that we're talking about the subject tonight because we just experienced a new moon we are under the auspices of the Aries new moon, that's when the sun and the moon come together. And grandfather, son, and grandmother moon, they kind of sit together on the couch side by side, and they're just canoodling, and they're all into each other. And so and that's why there is the dark of the moon is because the sun, which is our operating consciousness, what illuminates our lives, and the moon, which governs our internal emotional guidance system and our emotional intelligence they come together once a month at this new moon and that's the time where we plant seeds for what we want to see prosper at the full moon to culminate to to finish to be released and revealed and so this couldn't come at a better time um because we just had the new moon yesterday, yesterday about um, 10 p.m. Eastern time, about 9 p.m. Uh, Central time where I am. And it's in the sign of Aries, which Aries is the beginning. It's the beginning of the zodiac. It's the beginning of spring. It's the beginning of growing. So the growing season has come. And so that's why this is a wonderful time to do spring cleaning and really think about the beginning because we are at the beginning of the beginning. Just like Julie Andrews taught all the kids how to sing, start at the very beginning. That's a very good place to start. So we are, we're here at the beginning. And not only are we at the beginning, Mercury our planet of consciousness and communications and how we move around in our world, in our, our local environment, so our, our neighborhood, 
um, and how we work it out with with the people um, that move in and out of our lives. Mercury just stationed direct. So what that means in astrology terms is um, it looked like he was marching backwards and he stopped and now turned around and he's headed forward. So energetically, that means that we are ready to see and move forward. So all of these things are coming together to really let us move out, move into to spring. And one of my favorite astrology writers is Dr. Michael Lennox. And his post, I want to read this. And so I've got my paper here because I'm going to quote it pretty much verbatim. How important this new moon is. And even though it was exact last night um, here in the States, it was exact last night, we are still under the auspices of this new moon. We are still under those energies. So if you have intentions that you want to put in motion and we are going to be planting seeds this evening on, on the show together and our time together. So if you want to do that, then, um, then yes, this is the time that she's saying, yay, Mercury went direct today. Yes. The gifts of Mercury retrograde were appreciated, but so glad he's moving forward again. Yes. The, the gifts of Mercury retrograde typically, tend to be internal, internal. So um, it it might seem like we're stuffed feet a little bit on the outside and then the internal landscape, it's about rethinking, reviewing, refocusing, recalibrating, any of those RE words that you can think of, review. So, and it happens four times a year. So as we're moving through our busy lives, when Mercury goes retrograde, he's saying, hold up. It's time to think about this again. So now he's turned around and he's ready to move forward, just as the sun and moon are ready to move forward and we're ready to move forward. So let me read this. The new moon conjunct Uranus. Uranus is the great enlightener, the, the great awakener. Sudden insights, these aha moments. Gee, I could have had a V8. These, these wonderful bolts of lightning that say, boom, electrify me. Part of the landscape of this new moon, says Michael Lennox. The landscape of this new moon is an opposition from Venus to Jupiter. Venus is in Taurus, sensuality, luxury, um, money, real estate, and values. Um, opposite Jupiter expansion in the sign, which is very deep, creative place. So our heart center is having a face off with our sense of abundance. Hmm. So that's what is opening up as well. Remember, this is important. I love this. Remember, nothing can come to you if you don't feel deserving of it. Well, it can come, but it can't stick around. If under the surface, you still have voices that say no. When in doubt, use the word willing in your affirmative prayers. You can shout, I feel rich and prosperous till the cows come home. But if in your unconscious, you don't believe that to be true, the conversation is over before it even starts. But say, I am willing to feel rich and prosperous, it's a different story. Your program of lack and limitation cannot argue with willingness. Ooh, he just really hits things right on. So as you're putting into motion some things that you want for this new moon, new abundance for you, new prosperity, Think about, I am willing to. Hmm. Ooh, let me take a quick drink here. Anything going on in the chat room? If anybody has any questions, please 
please feel free to um, to type those in. We are going to do a chakra sound rejuvenation. Now, I I, I kind of went back and forth a little bit with um, with spirit on this. Oh, good one. Thanks, Holly. Because my friend Neshi does this wonder, wonderful universal love connected meditation every month. And, of course, our very own Polly Joe does this beautiful work with chakra clearing and with her gifts. And Spirit was telling me, well, you need to do this. And I was thinking, but, but she does this and she does this. What can I add to it? And so I very strongly got the message that just like naps and massages, you can't have too much meditation. So I'm asking you to join me this evening for a chakra rejuvenation. And um, it's coming at the right time because this is the time of newness. This is the time of of the new moon and also another big player um, that's changing in the in the sky that's Chiron I'm going to write that in there Chiron Chiron is the wounded healer he was the priest king of Atlantis and the centaur half man half horse who brought healing in the time of Atlantis and so in astrology, he's an asteroid and represents the wounded healer. So for the last eight years, he has been in the sign of Pisces, the place of unconsciousness, the place of spirit. And on Wednesday, the 18th, just a couple days from now, Chiron is moving into the sign of Aries. So everything is beginning. So it's rebirth. So it's our chance from now until 2027 to really think about what healing means, what personal healing means, what planetary healing means. And those of us who were born in um, the time span of 1969 to 1977, that was the last time that Chiron was in Aries. So, we, those of us born in that time, will be experiencing our Chiron return where we will really understand what it means to be a healer in this world. And our healing gifts will get a boost. And so that's what this time is all about. So, so many, so many new beginnings are happening right now, right at this time. So it's perfect that we are, are doing this. Judy's saying, I'm so ready. Yes. So what we're going to focus on is a sound healing rejuvenation. And um, I'm going to put this picture up here. Show there. Can everybody see? I'm going to share the screen here. Um, so we're focusing on the chakras, but we are, we are going to focus on the seed sounds, the Bija mantras. Bija means seed, and that's Lam, Vam, Ram, Yam, Ham, Om, and Om. Om. I'm going to give it a solo, so maybe you can see that a little bit better. So the, the different seed sounds correlate to the chakras. So starting with the root is Lam, and the sacral chakra seed sound is Vam. Then we have Ram at the solar plex and Yam at our heart center and Ham at our throat, Om at the third eye, and Aum, A-U-M, Aum. It's kind of a... Uh, what they would call it, a diphthong. So it's aum. So a really encompassing sound at the crown. And these, these seed sound mantras 
are to help us really be focused on what what the chakras represent and what they can bring to us. For example, with, I'm going to do this solo again. Here we have for our root chakra, that's the seat of stability. We're rounded and linked to the earth. And our sacral chakra is the creation where we have pleasure and creativity and procreation, right? And Ram, Ram is the solar plexus, the seat of our will, our personal will. The heart chakra is Yam, Yam, and that is the seat of compassion, where we know and are known through our compassion. The throat is Hum, and that is the seat of truth, the seat of truth, and Om. Our third eye is the seat of clarity. And our crown chakras, Aum, that really encompassing sound, Aum, is the seat of consciousness. So that's what we're going to be working with this evening. And this, this sound rejuvenation has two parts to it. The first part is a releasing and then the second part is the planting. And so we are going to be big in sound. I am going to be chanting. I'm going to be using mantra. I'm going to be using my voice. And I invite you, wherever you are, to just settle in and be, be comfortable. So if you are seated or you are lying down, just Imagine that you are cradled. Maybe you're floating in the ocean. Or maybe you are in the soft, cool, verdant earth. Or maybe you are in a bubble of light or sound. Or maybe you're floating among the stars. Wherever you are, just allowing yourself to be held and cradled and in a, a in floating floating a little bit I'm just gonna let you let you find that place I'm using my tinctures here. And I'm going to ask if you are willing to open the gates of your feet. There are energy centers at the bottoms of your feet. And if you are, are willing to open the gates, at the bottom of your feet, so that what you are releasing can just flow out. It can flow out into mother earth to be transmuted or it can can move on into the light where it is transferred transmuted and reborn into holy usefulness whatever that means for you or in the ocean that it just kind of floats away again to be transmuted And so we are going to we are going to release on this on this first part. If you are ready to release gently, as if you are comforting a crying child, just gently wiping away the tears. That's what I want this releasing to be. We don't need to, to drill in there and, and do anything hard or, or gangbusters or um, breaking up the pavement. We want it to be gentle. 
we've got an, enough cracking open of, of things on the outside. We want to be gentle, just as gentle as if you are wiping away tears of a crying child. Let things release. Let things release. If you are ready to release the instability of not belonging to earth. If you are ready to release the fear of connection. If you are ready to release the fear of accepting your destiny. If you are ready to release the walls around your heart. If you are ready to release the inability to express yourself, the selfhood of you. And ready to release rules that others have placed on you or roles that others have said you need to fulfill. If you're ready to release those. And ready to release a disconnection or a dissonance between you and source or universal mind or God or creator, whatever that energy is that holds you. If you are ready to release, then let the sounds help you release and just be held in that space as you listen to to the sacred sound.
Let anything else that needs to be released, be released. We use my pendulum to see if, if we have released all that we need to release right now. Hmm. Good. Good. And as we are spring cleaning, it's also time to plant these seed mantras, bija mantras, are also about planting those seeds of the things that we want in our lives. And so, are you willing, are you open to settling in to the seat of stability on the earth? If you are open and willing to settle into the seat of creation? Are you ready and willing to settle into the seat of your personal will? Are you ready to settle into the seat of compassion? Are you ready and willing to settle into the seat of your truth? Are you ready and willing to settle into the seat of clarity? Are you ready and willing to settle into the seat of consciousness? Let us see. And are you willing to, to make some new vows? Hmm. Some new vows about what is safe for you. Are you willing to make some new vows about being alive in your life? Are you willing to make some new vows about your boundaries and how you manage your boundaries? Are you willing to make new vows about relating to other people in your relationships? Are you willing to make some new vows in your selfhood? your selfness, the who you are. Are you ready to make some new vows about your intuition and perceiving abilities? Are you ready to make some new vows, willing to make some new vows about your higher understanding? and your connection to source. So as we plant these seeds, think about settling into the seat of and your willingness to make vows about that serve your life now or as we are beginning Let it just kind of wash over you and through you like a wave, very gently, very gently, as if you're on the seashore and the waves just come up over your legs and your hips and your body, and it just washes over you so gently, and it's so fun and so free and refreshing. 
It's so refreshing. As you are planting these seeds. Lam, 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 yam, am, seeds and letting them find their way into your internal garden, your chakra energy system. And imagine them being tucked into those energy centers, tuck in to your seed of safety and connecting to the earth. Tuck into the place of your being alive in your life. Tuck into the place of your personal will. Tuck into the place of love and compassion. Tuck into the place of speaking who you are and what you believe. Tuck into the place of your wisdom. Tuck into the place of your connection with the divine creator. And breathe in. With this sense of clean, whole, Renewed, rejuvenated. Mm. So I invite you to take another breath <sighs> throughout your whole body system and Wiggle your fingers and your toes and come back from the place where you were just held, floating. Come back to, to being alive right with us. Meg saying, lucky doodles, sound asleep, her chakras are balanced. I love that little lucky. Susan saying love. Thank you. And thank you, Suzanne. Mm -hmm. Spirit um, has told me to use my voice um, for healing and wellness and, and balance. So I'm I'm trying to listen. So I'm gathering us back, gathering back right here. 
Mm, Polly Joe, my kitty bell, loved it too. Oh, that's awesome. Our animal friends, they really know. They're really so aligned. So come on back, come on back, come on back. As you are released and hopefully rejuvenated, revived, you can um, practice these mantras. There, I'm going to share the screen. These, they're called Bija mantras. They're seed sound mantras. And they've been used for thousands, thousands of years um, from the ancient Sanskrit. Sanskrit is a language that is at least a thousand years older than Aramaic that Jesus of Nazareth spoke. So this is this is long time. So there have been many mystics and healers and magicians and folks such as us who have been using these mantras. And as we vocalize, we are not only pulling in our energy and calling forth connection with divine creator, but we are joining in the voices of all who have ever used these mantras and whoever will. We're just weaving on the continuum. So uh, thank you for for joining me on this journey this evening. Hmm. She says, first time I really enjoyed spring cleaning. Great meditation and healing to include your voice. Thank you, Julie. You are welcome. You are welcome. I uh, really had to do some heavy duty trusting of spirit <laughs> to do this this evening. But I am glad to, I'm glad to share. I'm glad that I. I did that. Um, I want to, um, we're coming down to, to time and, and I want to open it up for readings, but I want to let everyone know of, of a special offer that I have out there. Uh, it's called the Chiron Healer Report. Chiron, as we said, oh. Hold on, I'm so sorry. I can't type and talk at the same time. Um, the, the Chiron Healer Report is a written four-page report that I, I create from your sacred birth astrology to help you understand um, the healer within you and how the healer works in your life. What are your soul lessons, your soul healing lessons from Chiron that you were born with? How do they work in your life um, for your soul growth and your soul healing? And in this time that, that Chiron, the asteroid, is moving into the space of Aries, known as the the warrior known as the pioneer the commander who just you know feet on the ground let's go what is that um what is that doing for all of us now and specifically how is that working in your birth astrology so it is a written four page report it's called the chiron healer report and you can order that from my website www.foursoulempowerment.com it's a special that I'm offering, $33.99, so you can have that. And it's in plain English so that you can understand exactly what Chiron is offering to you and how to work with him to really embody your healing gifts more fully and use them to help yourself and others because we are here, of course, to share and our gifts and empower one another. You can also, you can also combine that Chiron healing report with, um, with a chakra healing session. 
So that is also on my website. You can order that if you are so interested. Yes. Thank you, Nashi. Chiron Heal Report with me. So let's open it up for, for some empowerment messages. If you would like a card this evening and I'm, I'm going to use an Oracle deck this evening. I'm going to call in the power, the power of the flowers, <laughs> the power of the flowers. We're going to do flower therapy this evening. Whoops. Let me see that flower therapy, Oracle cards. So if you would like some flower power this evening, let's see what the flowers have to say, because you know, we really want this springtime to get on, getting on. <laughs> it was snow flurries today, all day. It was in the 30s. And I know some of my friends are, um, some of my, my friends are under winter storm warnings and ice storms and all of that. Mm, Mother Nature, come on. Let's get on, getting on. Okay, we got some lining up here. Um, Let's start off with Rob. He, he's got his hand in the air. So what kind of um, flower power is there for Rob tonight? Mm. For you, Rob, it is Echinacea. Whoops. Echinacea. Open your third eye. Open your third eye. It's safe for you to open the center of your clairvoyance. By doing so, you'll see the truth. So sitting, sitting in the seat, really embodying the seat of your wisdom. That's the place of wisdom. Open your third eye, Echinacea. And isn't Echinacea also good for um, immune support? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Who's next? Linda Groza, reading please, holding up your hands, I love it, let me get these shuffled, shuffle, 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 what do the flowers want to say to Linda tonight, mm. Linda, you get the sweet pea, mm. I love that, your wishes are coming true, yay, Wishes coming true. What your heart has been longing for is getting closer each day. So it goes back to that message that we shared at the beginning, um, that write up by Dr. Michael Lennox. Um, these affirmations that we put out there, we can say, I'm rich and powerful and etc. But we have to make sure that our internal space is ready for it. And so if we are doubting just a little bit, say, I'm willing to be rich and powerful or rich and abundant, right? So let's try that. Who's next? Who's next? Susan. Susan Neville. Let's see. Ooh, the flowers were pretty, pretty quick on that one. Mm. Here you have, let me back it up, Zalia. Azalea. I love azaleas. They are so pretty. Why is soul? I'm trying not to get the glare on the camera there. Why is soul? Your soul carries ancient wisdom. Please embrace it as you have the knowledge to help those around you. And I'm going to um, also add this spirit is telling me to add that um, soul path questions or the purpose of your soul exploring those things um, you might consider an Akashic record reading with Maganetto, and that's for infinite grace. Okay. Maganetto, you can find her on Facebook. Meg, will you type in your website so I can um, pop it up there, please? Rob saying, listen to what the flower people say. Yeah. Yay. Flower power, yes. Ooh, uh, ice and s storm and three inches of snow. Yes, we need we need some flower power right there. Susan, you got your flower. All right, who's next? 
Pat, Polly Joe, Polly Joe. Let's see what flower power is out there for you. Oh, I like this. Can we see that yellow rose? Yellow rose. Balance, work, rest, and play. Notice, notice that last word. That's my favorite word, play. It's important for you to have fun along with fulfilling your responsibilities. So I'm giving you permission to eat your pudding before you have your meat. Go get you that ice cream treat that you've been really, really wanting. Do it. Pull out the crayons. Do something really fun. Because when we laugh and we have fun, that's a massage for the inside of our body. So play, 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 play. Who else do we have here? Whoops. Okay, Meg for infinitegrace.com. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Kashik Record Reading. Okay, let's see where I am. Make sure I get everybody. Shell Rose. Hmm. Let's see what the flowers have to tell you tonight. Ah. Oh. This is what we just did. Chakra clearing of the lotus. What I love about the lotus is that it is steeped in mud. And it needs that mucky old mud in order to bloom. So the things that you are trudging through in your life, that mucky old mud, they are helping you to bloom. But doing this work that we've been doing tonight, the chakra clearing, the rejuvenation, and make sure you tune in to Polly Joe's um, shows on Wednesday evening for chakra clearing. Yes. By clearing your chakras, you open yourself up to profound wisdom, the wisdom that is internal to you. Thank you, Shell. Who's next? Who's next? We got you, Polly. Got you. Mm -hmm. And, uh, oh, thank you, Meg. Yes, I do Akashic um, Records readings. Um, it's more of an Akashic empowerment. So I combine what your soul song is through the Akashic records. Um, but Meg is absolutely amazing. And she was my mentor as I was becoming certified in the Akashic records. So definitely check her out. She has uh, wisdom and and beauty with the records. All righty. Periwinkle, my favorite crayon. Writing poetry about owning a football team. Mm, what do you mean there, Rob? Who else, who else needs um, an empowerment card this evening? Polly Joe bought new crayons on Saturday. Yay. And you had your treat before dinner tonight. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. 64 box. <laughs> you know, they now make uh, 96. Get out of my brain. There we go. <laughs> Deanne Fontanella. Let's see here. Card for you. Card for you. Card for you. Card for you. Oh, this is oh beautiful. Here we go, the bird of paradise. That is one of the most regal flowers I have ever seen. Um, I was up in, in Fort Wayne. I went to this botanical garden back in February. And this lush tropical waterfalls indoors in this botanical garden. And I saw the bird of paradise and I swooned. I really, really did. So communicate with your angels, the bird of paradise. And it says you have the ability to connect with the beings of love who surround you. Communicate with your angels and deliver their healing messages to others. So 
you have this angelic spirit language and it is time for you to debut that in the world in a safe manner. So um, surround yourself with your sacred space, with your team and allies um, and um, share that, share that. Thank you. Judy has her hand raised. Thank you all for staying with me. I know I'm going over a little bit. I love doing these messages. Judy. Judy, here we go. Snapdragon, release all anger. Um, there is such thing as healthy, righteous anger, and then there is such that um, if we stuff it down, if we if if we have our boundaries and, and someone crosses that line or a situation oversteps our boundaries and we say, oh, that's not that bad. Oh, that's not that bad. Oh, that's just a little scratch. This is a little chunk. Then what happens is after a time we're left with we're left with just bones. We don't have anything left. So releasing anger is letting it healthily come out when you need to stand your ground when you need to say mm -mm, that was my boundary no means no or this is my yes this is my no it says don't give power to negative words by saying them speak from your higher self and make your communications peaceful and loving and i'm going to add to that especially to yourself because I'm feeling there's a tendency to blame yourself when boundaries are crossed. Your boundaries are your boundaries. And when you sit in the seat of your truth, especially the throat chakra, then that can help you with those boundaries. Who else needs one? Let's see here. D is saying hello. We'll pull a card quick for for D. Card for D. Oh, this is beautiful. I'm sorry. I'm, it's hard for me to find where the camera is right away. Reach for the stars. Orchid. Orchids are beautiful. You deserve only the best. And this is all you should focus your attention on. It goes back to what we shared um, this evening at the beginning of the broadcast about you can do affirmations till the cows come home, but if there's something inside that doesn't believe it, it just kind of bounces off. Or it's like a seed that's thrown on the ground but quickly washes away when uh, the rains come. So if you say, I'm willing to, be abundant. I'm willing to be healthy. I'm willing to have um, an amazing love relationship. Whatever that is. Yeah. Reach for the stars. Definitely. Shanda, card please. Yes, yes. Let's see here. All righty. Hibiscus. I'm trying to not get a glare on these. Hibiscus. Unity. You're spiritually connected to everyone through God or source or universal spirit or Wakantanka. Use this sacred bond to heal your family, friends, and yourself. So again, we're um, being open to your own healing abilities. Yes. Anyone else? Anyone else? Thank you, Meg. Nice message about regarding anger and boundaries. Judy says, completely right on at this point. Excellent. I love that. Hello, Miss Tracy. I gave you a shout out earlier. I let everybody know that your Obsidian Clearing Meditation is available on rjchakra.weebly.com. Um, the, that website that you were gracious enough to share it with me and allow me to publish it. Um, this very powerful meditation that I have used myself and wow, 
It is a game changer. Hello, Miss Tracy. And let's get let's get a card for Miss Tracy if she wants some flower power tonight. Mm. White rose purification. You just had a big weekend, didn't you, Miss Tracy? Doing some healing work with some lovely souls up there in northern Michigan. By purifying your life of negative people, places, and experience, experiences, you attain true peace. I know you know all about that. You do so well to keep that channel, channel clean. So there you go. D is saying thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Who else? Who else? Meg, orchids are beautiful. Her snickety to grow, but so beautiful. Yes, they are. You know, another one that that um, that I think is kind of that way are African violets. I just think they are beautiful. African violets. Meg, did I get you? Did you did you want one this evening? Green thumb and, and full of love. Did I get you, Meg? Anybody else? I know I've gone over just a little bit this evening, and I thank you all for for staying with me. Um, we did some really, really big work tonight. Let me know, Meg, if you if you would like some flower power. I, I definitely don't want to um, miss anybody who would like an empowerment message. Susan is asking. Let's see here. Okay, okay. You are welcome. You are welcome, Miss Tracy. Most definitely. Holly. Holly would like a card, please. Certainly. What flower power is out there for you tonight? Hmm. 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 Sign from heaven. Protea. I'm not familiar with this flower. Protea. Let's see what it says. Your loved ones in spirit are waving hello and giving you reassurance that you'll be all right. I love that. Signs from heaven. I love those signs from heaven. And Susan would like a card for her husband. Let's see. Let's give her husband some flower power. Flower power. Hmm. Okay. Which one is going to pop up? Flower power here. Flower. Ooh. Why is soul? This is another azalea. Why is soul for your husband? Your soul carries ancient wisdom. Please embrace it as you have the knowledge to help those around you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yay, Miss Meg. Let's get some flower power for you, my dear. My dear. Flower power. Flower power. Ah. Here you go. Orange lily, uplifting your thoughts. Orange lily, coming from that that place of the sacral chakra of creation. Focus your attention on the many blessings that surround you. By doing so, you let go of depression, poor self-esteem, and excess weight. So I'm feeling that this is all about the seat of, of creation, the place of the sacral chakra, the place that is the kernel of your, your growth, and I'm also feeling that it's time to be released from old family roles um, that have been placed on you or old rules that says you, you always have to eat your meat before you can have your pudding and, and some such other things. Only you know what those are. But reaching in that place of being alive, being alive in your life. And you are, you're coming out like, like Diana Ross sings, I'm coming out. So keep up that good work, Miss Meg. Anytime. 
Anytime. Mmm. Barb, would you like Julie to draw a card? Let's see here. Barbara Lowe, card please. Let's try this one. Let's try this one. Hmm. This one's coming up again. Communicate with your angels, the bird of paradise. I so love flower, the bird of paradise. It is just absolutely stunning. You have the ability to connect with the beings of love who surround you. Communicate with your angels and deliver their healing messages to others. What I'm actually getting for you, Barbara, is a spirit art drawing or painting or sculpting the angels in either abstract or realistic ways. But it's time to let, let that light shine and say, yes, I communicate with the angels in this way. And the angels have this message for all of us or for a friend or family member. It's time to debut that gift. Yes, yes, yes. Christina Marie, grateful. Oh, I like your name. Okay. Hmm. We have Bromeliad. Be positive. And what and what I'm he hearing actually is the buzzing of a bee. Be positive. Be be be. Your thoughts can shape your experience. So be sure to focus on the positive. What I like about the bee is a long, long time ago, I used to be a, a Mary Kay consultant. I know makeup and all that kind of business. But one of, one of her symbols and one of her stories was about the bee, that aerodynamically bees should not be able to fly because their bodies are funny shaped or they're too heavy or something. That aerodynamically they should not be able to fly because of their physicality. But they don't know that. They don't know that. So they just fly. So that's what it is. Be positive. Just fly. Just flap those wings and fly. <laughs> All righty. You are quite welcome, Holly. Anybody else? I want to make sure that. Hmm, yay. I want to make sure that I get everybody here. Old rolls moving out. Wonderful. I'm so glad to hear that, Meg. Let's see here. You are welcome. You are welcome, my friend. Oh, did we get the, the same, same card? Awesome. All right. You are a poet, Rob. You are a poet. Keep embracing it. And so... I want to thank all of you for joining me this evening for all of the very deep and rich inner work that we have done. And, um, yeah, keep your, keep your light shining. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine, shine all over your town, shine in your job, shine in your family. Not going to let anything get out. I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Keep shining your light. And meet me back here next month for the tarot journey. And we will see um, what new adventures and new places that we can go. So may the peace that surpasses all human understanding go with each and every one of you. Om Shanti and good night.